This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You are tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Just got finished watching Caleb Plant versus Caleb Truax. Main event, PBC on Fox. And Caleb Plant got a unanimous decision victory. 120 to 108 on all three scorecards. That is 12 rounds to zero. Donut. This fight went exactly how I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to go to a decision. Uh, talk to my guy Scott Lang about that. Big shout out to Scott. And the reason why I thought it was going to go 12, the reason why I thought Caleb Plant was not going to get a knockout is because I had a little bit of intel on Caleb Truax and uh, his camp going into the fight. Now, he was training with my bros, Cruz Hitman Stewart and Antonio T. Woods. Big shout out to both of them. Um, both of them are with... Uh, one two boxing big shout out to one two boxing and from what i was told it was some real good sparring going on between those guys and it was some some real hard sparring so i knew caleb truax was gonna come and try to be competitive the one thing about his sparring partners cruz hitman stewart and antonio t woods is neither one of them fight like caleb plant and neither one of them is quicker than caleb plant so I knew that was going to be a major adjustment for Caleb Truax going into the fight. He looked like he wanted to pull the trigger and just couldn't for big portions of the fight. Caleb Plant pitched a shutout against a former champion, even though he's in his upper 30s. But this was one of those fights. Let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. This was the fight that Caleb Plant was supposed to put on a spectacular performance because his name is being mentioned with Canelo Alvarez. And on top of that, a lot of people watched Caleb Plant for the first time tonight because his name was being mentioned with Canelo Alvarez. So this was the fight the stage, the opportunity to put on a spectacular performance. I'm talking Floyd Mayweather Jr., Arturo Gotti type performance. And Caleb Plant just did his usual outbox a guy performance. Like, he had a good performance. But it wasn't a performance that would impress the first time watcher of Caleb Plant it wasn't going to impress the Canelo fan and wanted to do some research and do some homework on Caleb Plant this was not the fight that was gonna strike any type of fear in Canelo Alvarez despite him winning 12-0 like <laughs> he gets a complete shutout 12-0 no round was debatable clean sweep and Caleb Plant is going to get more criticism than praise for this fight and that's just the reality of it is it fair probably not but at the same time if you want a Canelo Alvarez fight which is probably going to bring you definitely over five million dollars like yeah, like, people want you to have a spectacular performance. The thing that's crazy is Caleb Plant performed, he performed like a Cuban fighter tonight. Like, he really did. Like, he really, he, I'm not going to say he did the bare minimum, but he was just in cruise control all night. Like, he never turned up. He never turned up in this fight. Like, really mashed on the gas and really went for it. After the fight, Caleb Plant announced that he hurt his hand like first quarter of the fight. Said he 
probably broke his hand. Now, did I get any indication that he his hand was messed up? No, but that's credit to Caleb Plant because even if your hand hurt, you can't show that to your opponent. So, um, you know, if he broke his hand, you know, that's still impressive that he shut a guy out and had a messed up hand. So it's still impressive, but he really had a chance to really plant his flag in the dirt and announce that he was here, like major. And when you look at it from that aspect, he fell short. But if you want to look at it just like a typical fight, typical performance, I mean, how can you argue with 12-0? <laughs> like, how can you argue a shutout? So, as crazy as this boxing business is, you have performances that are good, but you needed them to be great. And that was tonight with Caleb Plant. For example, Michael Coffey, he was the co-main event versus Darmani Rock. He got a third-round knockout over Darmani Rock. Michael Coffey was 11-0, eight knockouts. Darmani Rock was 17-0, 12 knockouts. That was a fight for somebody to make a statement. Michael Coffey didn't go 10 rounds. Michael Coffey didn't just sit there and box. Michael Coffey went out there and put on a spectacular performance. So when you think of this card, the most impressive person was Michael Coffey. He had a spectacular performance. In the fight, in the moment, called for it. And Michael Coffey rules to the occasion. People wanted for Caleb Plant to do the same thing, like just to be completely dominant. We know Caleb Plant can outbox the majority of people at 168. We know that already. We know he got a great jab. We know he can move around the ring. We know he can make guys look silly defensively. But we wanted for Caleb Plant to have a spectacular performance, and he just fell short of that. Now, Hopefully his hand is not broke or anything like that. Hopefully it's a quick recovery. But to be honest with you, I want to see Caleb Plant in another fight before he even gets a Canelo fight. Like, the Caleb Plant that showed up tonight, I don't know if this Caleb Plant beats David Benavidez. I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing a Caleb Plant, Danny Jacobs, at 168. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. But I think Caleb Plant needs another fight before he gets a Canelo fight. So if it was up to me, I don't think Caleb Plant beats David Benavidez. I, I'm going to be 100% real. I'm going to keep it honest. I think David Benavidez beats Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant versus Danny Jacobs is a great fight for Caleb Plant. Even if Jamal Charlo moved up to 168, Caleb Plant versus Jamal Charlo, that's a fight. That's a fight. But with this performance, as crazy as it sounds, you beat a former champion, shut him out, 12 rounds and nothing. No round was debatable. And your name came out a little bit less than it did prior to the fight. It's crazy, but it's true. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. g 5 TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.